It seems like only a few days ago that I made a video about this, the Bufwang DM32. And although this radio is far from perfect, myself, as well as many other radio experts, love this radio because of everything it can do. And when you calculate the bangs for the dollars, you will see that this is a great radio for only about $80 of monies. Affiliate link below. But 80 monies is a bit pricey for many people. And then they see this, the Bufwang UV32, which looks pretty much identical, but costs only $40 of monies. And they may wonder to themselves if this one is just as good as this one. Because, you know, they look exactly the same. So it is with those people in mind, combined with my crippling desire to try and please everyone, that I am going to compare these two radios, mono e mono, and explain in simple and easy to understand terms the differences betwixt the two so that you can decide which of these two radios best fits your active radio lifestyle. And as always, I will do my very best to keep this video short and to the point because I understand that you think that your time is very valuable. And it is because I understand that you think your time is very valuable that I will not waste any of it by begging you to subscribe to my channel or click the like button like all of those more desperate YouTubers always beg you to do. This is the Bufwang UV32. This is the Bufwang DM32. And as you can see with your very own visual bags, they look pretty much identical. However, just like your mama still tells you, it is what is on the inside that matters. And on the inside, these are quite different. The price for the Bufwang UV32 is about $45 of monies. Affiliate link below. And just for clarification and hopefully to prevent any stupid comments from some people declaring that I'm just a shill for the Bufwang Corporation of Japan because I get free stuff, I paid full price for this radio using my own monies that I collected from my supporting channel members. Those are the viewers that clicked on the join or thanks buttons to show their undying support, devotion, and dedication to my channel and by the transitive property me. The price for the DM32 is about 85 monies. And this one was sent to me by the Brush Beater store who has them on sale right now. So I will put a non-affiliate link to his website below. Both radios come pretty much with the same goodies, but depending on what reseller you get yours from, it may come with a few different other things. So be sure to read your package descriptions carefully before purchasing. Both come with 2,500 miller amp hour USB-C's rechargeable batteries. And yes, the batteries are interchangeable between the two radios. Both of these handheld HT walkie-talkie radios have the exact same form factor. And as you can see with your very own vision balls, they are quite large when compared to a standard UV5R for scale. Both have a speaker situated at the rear of the radio, and both of them output pretty much the same RF electricities. Just over 8.5 watts for the UV32, and just over 7 watts for the DM32, virtually the same, and they both vary slightly depending upon what frequency you're transmitting on. Both radios receive pretty much the same frequency ranges and both radios give virtually the exact same FARs. Allow me to say that again, neither of these radios can talk any more FARs than the other one. Both of these radios are unlocked, meaning that they can both transmit on hams radios 2 meter and 70 semen eater bands, as well as on some business frequencies, MERS frequencies, and on GMRS frequencies. However, neither one of these radios is a GMRS radio, and if you do not understand what that means, then you should probably not buy either one. Both radios have the same size full-color screens that are both pretty much useless in bright direct sunlight, and neither have any IP rating, meaning that neither one are safe to play with in the bathtub. Both have programmable buttons on the sides. They can both receive NOAA weather alerts. They both have built-in GPS. Neither are Chirp compatible. 
So you have to use the free Boofwang programming software for both, which runs only on the Windows, and neither of them require that you use that software to program them. You can do all of the programming on both of them the old-fashioned manly way right on the keypad, should you choose to do so. And of course, being the high-quality radios that they both are, both of them have a Roger beep. Thus far, you may be thinking that these two radios are exactly alike, but if you thought that, you would be wrong. The DM32 can store 4,000 custom channels, whereas the UV32 has only a puny 1,000 custom channel slots. The menu systems are slightly different, and that is because... Are you ready? Hold on to those stiff yellow socks. That is because... The UV32 is an analog-only radio, and the DM32 is analog and digital. And because the DM32 is digital, it does a lot more stuff, and so it needs a lot more menu items. And that is the major difference between these two radios. The UV32 is analog only, meaning it is a regular old-fashioned hams radios, whereas the DM32 can do all of that analog stuff that this one does, plus it can also do encryption, MDC, APRS, and DMR, and all of the goodness that comes along with those things. And that, my friend, is why the digital and analog DM32 costs twice as many monies as the analog only UV32. However, there is one thing that the UV32 can do that the DM32, costing twice as many monies, cannot do. The UV32 can be programmed via Bluetooth using the free phone app. And that's it. So which one should you buy, my friend? The answer is simple. If you require an analog radio that can also do digital DMR, encryption, APRS, and MDC, then the DM32 would likely best suit your active radio lifestyle. If, however, you want to save a few dollars, or if you have no need for all of the complications that come with all the digital stuff, then the UV32 is probably a better choice. Or if you are a totally out-of-control radio dork, then obviously you need both.